Hey everyone, welcome to uh, the John's My Gang Show, episode 39, I think. Uh, the John's My Gang Show, or the first 100 days of Crazy Joe's pa uh, presidency. Um, even though the 100, day 100 days are up, we're going to keep on going to hit 100 episodes, okay? That's my plan. I knew I wouldn't get to the goal of 100 days. The normal 100 days, but we're doing 100 episodes because I only do these episodes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, so that's why that's what happened. Okay. Um, turn this light on. I hope everyone had a great uh, Monday evening. Everyone I had a good day. Today, rainy day in my city today, but oh well. Um, so we got us to talk about today. Today we're talking about, I was going to talk about all this Friday, yes Friday, but I was lazy, I forgot to do it on the first day, so, but you know the story, but oh well. Uh, so we got a bunch of talk about today, uh, Joe Biden's uh, final uh, speech to Congress. Um, the, the State of the Union, and then we also have to talk about uh, Tim Scott and his hate that he's been doing it when, during his speech, uh, after Biden's speech. Um, I want to talk about that, too. I also want to talk about uh, 20, uh, Trump 2024, an uh, update on that. Um, I showed you one time in another episode uh, with him and... Sean Hannity talking about 2024 and the odds of it, but we got an update on that. So, and then we're, we're going to show you a funny video uh, for y'all about a parody video over the speech. So, we got lots to do, lots to talk about, lots of topics to talk about, so much to talk about. So, let's get started on the uh, State of the Union. Uh, finally, we finally got a State of the Union address from Joe Biden. It took months to do a merger. He do it, a State of the Union address uh, each year of the president. You do it the, either the end of January or the beginning of or the end of Feb, I mean, or the beginning of February. Um, but I guess due to COVID, they didn't have one until now, so in April. So, um. Finally, but finally Joe is doing his job. Um, um, like every other, even like, like Obama did it. I mean, every single president did it. And so, well, maybe not all of the presidents did a speak, <laughs> state of the union address. Like George Washington probably didn't do one back then. But like we, in modern day history, there has been state of the unions. And even Obama and even Clinton and even all these people, but but finally we got one, and they said a bunch of bull crap about the vaccines, about COVID, about blah blah blah, jobs, jobs, jobs. He talks about jobs and how he wants millions of jobs to come in, and and that we have millions of jobs, better jobs. But we used to have good jobs before. Joe, your first day in office, you took away the Keystone, and that got rid of jobs. So that's a bunch of bull right there. Uh, what he said about COVID is bull. Um, I think that's bull crap. Um, so, yeah. And he did not talk about the border crisis at all. And I don't know why, but he needed to, but he didn't. But, uh, for some reason, but he he needs to address it and address it, uh, and many agree with that. So, uh, but a bunch of bull crap, bull bull crap, and then the Republicans we bottled or whatever they call it, and had, and they chose Senator Tim Scott, which I never heard of that guy before until April a couple of days ago, during the speech when he was speaking. Um, I never heard of Tim Scott before. I never seen him. I think um, when I saw him when they're doing that speech, I thought, uh, "How awesome is that?" As a as an African American uh, Republican, I mean, 
Republican senator, the first African American Republican senator since a uh, senator since three decades. That's what it said on TV. Um, and I watched it and I thought, okay, this is cool. I think, and I, you know, everyone, it was on ABC News and NBC News. And I was shocked because I didn't know that they would put someone like him that tells the truth, that we know it's the truth, but the Democrats don't like to tell the truth. But someone on there that's really pro Trump, if you will. So. I'm surprised that ABC News let this guy speak on their network, but he did. Um, it was a great speech, you know. Um, it talked about his side of the story, how his life is in America. Um, he, you know, he talked about his issues with the police, the bad apple police, I guess, um, that he dealt with. Um, um, so he talked about that, which I thought that was good to talk about that on his side of the story as a Republican and his issues with his police and telling that to the public. So on his story, his side of the story, not the UK. And just like Kansas Owens and all these other black Republicans, which there's so many black Republicans out there, like the media don't want to share that. No, but there is. Um, there's proof of it. Um, the liberals don't like that there's black Republic, African American Republicans out there, but that's okay. But, and they talk, okay, here's another thing. That speech was so good, I, I enjoyed that speech. He told the truth. Um, and that speech, that was all good. You know how the liberals, with George Floyd and all these people that got killed by police. Well, I guess there's lots of theories about that, but I mean, but but they're like, defund the police, black guys matter, black guys matter. I support black guys matter, but when it comes to Republican black people, not black people that are Republican and support Trump, you know they get hated on, they get hatred from liberals. Like liberals say, oh they're racist for making Trump, and they're black. And that's uh, that's. Been like that last year and for years, liberals towards Republican black people, and and also Latinos for Trump and Asians for Trump. They're calling and Indians for Trump. They're calling them racist when they're not. Um, even though they're not racist, um, they're they're craziness that they go to. Um, they're liberal ways, they're crazy ways, but during the speech, I guess people on Twitter. Uh, Here's the story. Um, so they call, you know, liberals, what we're watching and treating, you know, saying we show uh, slurs to the senator, about the senator. Call, I guess, I guess um, they call him Uncle Tim, I guess. I guess that's a racial shirt. I can't say. They just saying, if you will. Um, they said that on Twitter, and it was, and they, here's the thing. That stay that hashtag stayed on there for twelve hour, or eleven plus hour, and I guess that's against Twitter's policy. So, but the people that liberal people, uh, uh, Democrat accounts that support Democrats and stuff, they didn't get they didn't get banned. Okay, they didn't go. They weren't censored because they're Democrats. They're liberals and Twitter and, and media and Facebook and Instagram and all these places are also. Democrats, and when a Democrat says something racist, says a vicious, racist saying, they don't get in trouble for it. But if a Republican says a racist thing, okay, they they would get banned and be censored. Even though not that many Republicans say racist thing, there's some that probably do, but and that's hateful. No one needs to be racist, but. When a Democrat on social media, like Twitter, does something and you know, says something racist towards a Republican black man, like Uncle Tim or whatever, um, when something racist, if they say something racist towards a Republican black person, which is, that's wrong and that's uh, biased and that's, what's the word, um, that's um, hypocritical, yes. 
that's hypocritical again they say defund the police black guys matter black guys matter and then they're over here on twitter and stuff uh using racist racist sayings on twitter towards a black person that's very hypocritical from for a little uh a little to do and i'm just calling it out um telling the facts and spilling the tea and the truth <laughs> so that's very hypocritical you know and i think that's wrong and i think any racism is wrong you know from republicans and democrats but the thing is it's not equal <laughs> republicans and democrats are race racist comments are not equal because you know, Twitter don't follow their own policies when it's a Democrat. A little person saying it. They don't get censored, but when we say something in our, our, in our heads, we get censored, okay? Our theories, our opinions, our views, they get censored. Their views and their opinions and whatever they, they can say whatever they want. And they don't get censored. That is liberal privilege right there. And I just want to point that out and Okay, so I can't, uh, it's sad. Oh, yes. Okay. And that, and all this privilege for liberal people needs to stop. Okay. So, yeah. It's hypocritical and that needs to end. Okay. All right. What else was I going to talk about? What was I going to talk about? Uh, oh, 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 uh, the Trump 2024 update. And I'm going to show you a video from Fox News, an updated video from Fox News from recently, um, on, um, about it. And just to show you because, um, I'm not a good speaker on certain things, so, and that's why I show the video to you so it's easier for me to do. I find it. Oh my god. Joe Biden had a So, and if you have a problem. Uh, I can't find it. Well, anyway, here's the update. Okay. I'm sorry, I can't find the video anywhere. But that's okay. Here's the story. There was a Fox News video about this. Um, that Trump is thinking about running. He says. If he wins in twenty twenty four, which I think he will, he's gonna have Juan de San, uh, the Florida governor Juan de Santos, um, uh, be his running mate. So that's it. Um, so I think that combination would be a good idea. Um, you know, because don't, I I can see a future for uh, Trump and de Santos. You know what? I think I do have a video. Uh, but I, well, I'm, um, I'm going to say this. I think it's going to be a good pair. Vice President, President. Um, a good pair because, you know, DeSantis is pro-Trump and everything. That's wonderful. And Trump, uh, he does good for Florida. Uh, even though he, ha he had a mask mandate at one time, he got rid of it. So, um, just like Texas. But, but now, um, we, today... Um, earlier today, no, DeSantis announced that he's getting rid of social distancing and all COVID restrictions, but the Democrats are going crazy and nuts and uh, hating on DeSantis for opening up, but like, they always do with all these governors opening up, um, fully, you know, like they were with Texas, but, um, but... I think it would be a good pair, you know, uh, because he does good for Florida. Florida's free. F Florida's big, you know. It's not like California, you know. Big as California is big as well. They, they both have Disney parks, but Florida is better, you know. Florida is so close to Bahamas too. So it's such a mate. It's such a. I think it's better than California. Um, but anyway, I think that uh, Donald Trump and DeSantis would be a good pair for 2024. Um, yeah, so anyone would be a good pair with Trump. But this is really good, you know. I just, we just need to get rid of Harris and get rid of Biden. 
That's what I'm worried about. I'm gonna play some with some uh uh um true Republican, okay? Not like Roman, like not like Mitt Romney or, or other people that in Hokum and people and that are Republicans but they act like Democrats. But um I think that'll be a good pair. So I think I do have the video on, on my yeah, may look for it here. I'm sorry. I, I just know I just remembered that I had it on here. I had blank fire. Okay. Let's find it. Come on, baby. Okay. It's gonna take me a little bit because it was a couple days ago that I posted it on my face shared it on my Facebook page. Come on, come on. Okay, let's go. I'm, I'm finding it. I'm sorry, guys. Why inconvenience this is. Okay. Just like, oh, here we go. Here's the updated video. And, and what no, this are you That's thinking fine. about running again, Mr. President, in 2024? Yes, 100%. And the polls show it, and everybody wants me to do it. Uh, well, 100%, I'm thinking about running, and we will, there you go. I think, be 100%. very successful. If we were very successful. Look, I ran twice, and the second time I got 12 million more votes than the first time. Which very rarely happens for a president. That's true. Mr. President, would you consider uh, a running mate in Ron DeSantis? A lot of conversation about your relationship with Ron DeSantis. You're seeing him more in Florida. Would he be your pick for well, a friend of mine. I endorsed Ron, and after I endorsed him, he took off like a rocket ship. He's done a great job as governor. A lot of people like that. You know, they, I'm just saying what I read and what you read. They love that ticket. Uh, but certainly Ron would be considered. He's a great guy. So so what policies would you want to uh, change? Uh, what's most important to you uh, if you were to run? What would the platform be? Well, look, Second Amendment we have to protect. Uh, you look at uh, the taxes that are rising, the biggest tax increases. You're going from the biggest decrease to the biggest increase in history. It's going to be a shock to all people, not rich people, all people. So they're giving the biggest tax increase in history. It's going to destroy the economy. The border has to be brought back to where I had it. We had it the best in the history of our country. And the wall would have been finished very quickly. They have to finish the wall. They have to get it finished. I would have had it finished two years ago, except that I got sued all the time. Every time we made a move, we got sued. It took two and a half years to win all the lawsuits. Mm -hmm. I won the lawsuits. We built the wall. It was almost complete. They have to finish the wall. Uh, they have to do many things, and they have to leave our Second Amendment alone. They want to destroy our Second Amendment. Also, energy. Uh, we were energy independent. We're not going to be energy independent in a couple of months. We're not going to be energy independent. We were, for the first time, energy independent. Your gasoline prices, look what's happening to them. They're going up through the roof in a short period yes, of time. Yes, I had them down below $2. And we still had a strong energy industry. Now they're laying everybody off. Why did they lay them off? Look at the pipeline. The heads of that mm -hmm. union should be fired mm -hmm. because I was building the pipeline. I overrode the veto and the, of the previous administration. So I'm building the Keystone Pipeline, the Dakota Access Pipeline. We're building all of that stuff. And they come in, they stop the Keystone Pipeline. Now they want to stop other pipelines that are already built. And all of these workers are out of business. The pipeline yes. workers are out of business. And their union heads always support a Democrat. So they supported Biden. Those union heads should be fired by all those people that don't have a job. Because if I were president right now, they'd all be working like crazy to build pipelines. Okay. So there you go. There's the answer. So 100%. That's what he said on there. And... Thinking about Juan DeSantis, but I think he should do it. I think he should, he should do Juan DeSantis like, right there and right now. Because he's doing a good job for Florida. Yeah, he we opened Florida. You know, he's making Florida exciting again and making, making, America, uh, making 
for the great again, if you will. So I think that would be a great ticket. I, I really do. Um, the next time it comes around, the next action, and if that's on the ticket, I'm ready for it. Yes, I am. All right. Let's do a funny video. There's so many funny videos came in out recently. So let's watch one of them and another one on Wednesday, too. So let's do this. Let's do this, folks. You got have to choose one. Like three or four of them.
We're calling these the new billion dollar solar panels. They're a new generation of super powerful solar panels that was. Okay, that was a funny video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this another episode of the Johnson McGay Show. See you Wednesday for the episode 40 out of 100. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next. Make sure you like and subscribe. And after you subscribe, push the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next video. Bye, guys. Peace. Bye.